Wow, my five head is glowing. And check back on your screen with another vlog. Hopefully, you can hear me because it's quite windy today. And there's also a lady down there washing her feet. Some Not me setting off the fire alarm, not once but twice. The burger better be good. I put it in the oven because I just want to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So when that's done, I'll be done my little appetizer, which is lasagna. If you checked last week's vlog, you saw me make it really late at night. I'm haunted. All this late night cooking, and for what? For what? So I need to throw on my face real quick. I don't think I'm going to dress up. I might just take this off because I have this underneath. And film a quick intro to a video that I want to post on Wednesday. Who goes to a cafe, gets matcha, and then has coffee? I should have done it the other way around. But their matcha, I would recommend. It's very, very smooth, very mute. So if you're new to the whole matcha world, which I am not, I actually like it stronger, but you know, to try a new place and they have really good reviews and their Instagram is popping too. All about the spring weather. Clearly you can tell from my outfit. Everyone in my golden eye pass is like, hey, Miss Pink. <laughs> it's supposed to be peach though. Posted an Amazon favorites and a couple people were asking. Literally just help type in mouth frother Look for the black one. They have like 50 that are all the same, but they just put a random label on it. I don't know if it's like a white label product or what. I should come up with my own frother. I would love to have my own line of stuff. I've always wanted to have my own line of sunglasses because it doubles as being stylish and also for sight loss and protection. I've always wanted to have my own essential oil, sage, holler at your girl, I would love to do a collaboration. And I've always wanted to have my own liquid lipstick, although I don't even wear them anymore. But there was a time when I was a liquid lipstick fiend and I wanted to have my own like really pretty muted rose shade that would look perfect on everybody. So this is my outfit de nuit. I haven't listened to my friend Todd yet. Good reminder. Maybe I'll listen on the walk. I just threw on these flare pants from Naked Wardrobe, bodysuit from Babaton, aka Aritzia. Still have the same tee from a couple hours ago. I gotta finish this in the next seven because I wanna get there a little bit early to you know do my little vlog montage thing because it's a family night and I probably won't be filming because my uncle's gonna roast me. I already know. I already already know. It's my uncle, my cousin, and my brother. I did my entire workout, just gotta do my legs before I go, but yo. Why did I put my shorts on inside out today? What type of time was I on? I'm so proud of you. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Hey, mama. Don't ask. Just, just don't ask. I hope that there is no more holes. <clears throat> Yesterday was so windy, it took some of my AstroTorf off. That's a mess. Anyway, I hope you 
that you guys are all having a good day. As you can see, it is a very moody Monday, super gloomy, which is okay because I don't have anything scheduled to film. Just construction anyway. I'm gonna do my two pods. It's such a vibe for podcasts though. I'm gonna talk about euphoria. I needed a week to just decompress and process what happened to Fez, okay? And then I'm gonna do the personal pod, which is always more sentimental. Edit my vlog so that it's up today by 2 p.m. And then, 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 Tuesday already. Where is time going? Happy International Women's Day. I only know it's that day because I got so many emails. You see how the marketers be marketing? And I was just like, oh, okay. Well, happy International Women's Day. I'm so annoyed. The video that I uploaded yesterday took six hours to edit, which is not abnormal. All that zooming and zooming out takes a while to edit a vlog but I uploaded it and I got a copyright claim and I thought about taking it down, but it took two hours to upload. So I was like, no, instead I just took the music off. So now there's like a 30 second snippet where there's just awkward silence while I'm making lasagna. So sorry about that. <laughs> I have to definitely find a way to test the music before I put it in the vlog so that this doesn't happen again. Cause this is two for two, two weeks in a row. Anywho, I am so, I slept well last night, so I don't know what it is, but I'm so tired. I'm gonna make a ice latte and throw on a sweater because anytime I have anything iced, even on a sunny day like today, like my fingertips are cold. Oh, I'm so violent today. I keep knocking over this tripod. The sun is coming in perfectly. They stopped the construction. I was able to film or record, I should say, both of my pods. I'll do the affirmations later tonight. I'm gonna go downtown, the Ian Center. I'm just treating me to get my Instagram popping again with a professional photographer. And I sent him about, a, about 10 fits so he could pick. The joke is I sent it through Instagram. So when he sent me back the only one he liked, I try to open it up and I'm like, which one? He's like, I don't remember and I can't open it either. So. Might as well see what I can get with these gift cards. Should I pull a whole stylist thing? I remember when I used to work at Zara, stylists would come in, buy like thousand dollars worth of things. I think the rule is you have to keep 20% of what you buy because they know like people buy to return. But maybe if I find a couple pieces that I like, I'll keep them and then incorporate them into my wardrobe. But my style has changed so much over the last two years. It's not that I don't have clothes I like. Meanwhile, I, I feel so frumpy in this outfit. Like I might change because I'm not I don't feel, you know those days when you just feel like you put a fit together and it's just not doing what it's supposed to be. Moral of the story is, I'll never be the girl that's like, I have nothing to wear because I have too much. But for the caliber of content we're trying to create, I feel like it needs to be a different aesthetic, which I can't recreate with what I have, or so the shopaholic says. So I'm gonna see what they have and hopefully use, put, <laughs> ow! <gasps> Oh no, not the nail. I wanna put on a hoodie, which is even more bummy than what I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I was reading my comments earlier and responding. You guys were so sweet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that you guys take the time to comment, to even watch my content, it means the world. Anyways, let's go. Silver candles now. That's so cool. This is giving Bottega green. Imagine this for the photo shoot. <laughs> what do you think of this dress? Do you think I can pull it off? Okay, they got to pop like this. Okay, they gotta have something here. Oh, this pants. So many of them. Oh, that was my 
have some? Okay, I'm gonna get her to get them off the mannequin. That's oh, what okay. they were. Okay. I'm glad we asked about the skirt because that got me thinking. I think I found some options. show you real quick what I got. At the beginning of last week's vlog, is already dying. I don't know what I did. I had to pull off four leaves because they were all looking like this one, but this, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. And now for my first haul of 2022, and probably last, to be honest with you. So I used a gift card that I had from, I don't know when my mom gave me a Zara gift card, if it was my birthday or Christmas, but I've been holding on to it for months and months and months. And I got this Bottega green dress. I had to go to two Zara's to get extra small. When I called this morning to make sure they had it in stock, I was about to ask him to put it on hold and he hung up on me. So yeah, I used two gift cards to get this. When you don't go shopping for a long time, it's weird to get back into it. This feels like a lot to me. It's four pieces, but I got these pants, which I tried on last week in zero, no, double zero. So I got them in, no wait, double extra small. So I got them in extra small, just cause I wanna be able to wear these when I'm hungry and then not feel like, oh, I can't eat, you know? They're kind of see-through though. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this because I have quite a few just in different hues. And I feel like it's overkill. Cause you know, the thing is I will get into a trend. I'm not the type to buy the same thing in multiple colors, but I will buy the same style or cut. And the problem with this is once this is no longer in, I'll still wear it out on business. Cause I wear a lot of things that are not on trend anymore. But what I'm trying to say is eventually I will feel like I've worn this style enough and then I'll have so many different style variants of this that I don't want to wear. Then I got another pair of slacks because would you believe I don't have a basic pair of slacks? She was trying to sell me on the shorter version and I was like, no, especially because Aritzia is not cheap. I'm not buying the shorter version because that's all you have in stock. I asked her to check another location and she didn't want to lose the commission. So somehow she found these. Another item she took off the mannequin. Isn't this so beautiful? Cheat code, I actually bought the black version of this for New Year's Eve. And then when I realized it was gonna be a house party, my stepdad's house, I'm like, why would I buy a whole new skirt when I have all these dresses that I haven't worn? So I ended up returning it, but then they launched this brown color like a month ago and I've been eyeing it ever since. For now, I'm going to look about dinner because I am starving and I still haven't had that soup I made in last week's vlog. Even the multitask queen needs help. We know you've got a lot going on. Georgia, I get my weed from California, that's that shit. I took my trip up to the north, yeah, badass bitch. downtown I've ever walked on. I'm like, am I still downtown? I wouldn't mind living on a street like this. I always wanted to live downtown when I was in my teens, early 20s, and then I was like, mm -hmm. uh-uh. But this, I could get into. That cafe, highly recommend 10 out of 10. So amazing. I wish that the caffeine kicked in because I was yawning on my way back home. But that might just be because I had so many weird dreams about the photo shoot. It's not even confirmed. So for all I know, maybe it's not gonna happen this Saturday. But what I do know is I'm gonna go see Batman, which would be the first movie I'm seeing in three years. My friend's supposed to get the tickets. So I'm interested to see what seats he's gonna buy. Anywho, now that I'm back, I can finally wash my dishes from this morning. I wanted to make where is it? I guess I put it away. I wanted to make plantain, but then I was like, oh, the water shut off. I literally did a 15 minute workout downstairs because I didn't want to risk coming up here and the water being off and not being able to shower because I couldn't, I just can't. I never understand how people work out and don't shower after. What's going on? The fry up tonight, yo. I bought these thingies, 20% off. So I was like, okay, that's more reasonable because $10 for this, even if you get two, no thank you. Hopefully, if you've been watching my vlog for any amount of time, 
you know that I'm all about the baking soda. I got baking soda in my... When other people come by, they're like, I don't really smell anything or maybe it's your celery or whatever. But I just like, every time I open the fridge, mm -mm, not here for it. So now that the water's on, I'm gonna give these a rinse. I wanna get more of these because they're so clutch, so clutch that I haven't even used this one yet. But I'm kind of like, what's the point of buying more? Because then I'm gonna have to actually stack and pack these when I move, right? Whereas they're not going anywhere and the store can store them for me until it's time to buy them. That's how I look at it now. Even when I went shopping yesterday and I was telling you guys it was so weird to go clothing shopping for the photo shoot. I'm like, these things can stay in the store until the sale happens or I'm actually going out. Like I used to be the one, tell me if you're the same, where I would buy things. Oh, like, oh, when I go on a trip in a year or I'll need this for this event that never happened. I have a dress that I bought five years ago that I still don't have a purpose for wearing. Luckily, even with that said, I don't have that many clothes with tags still on it. I think I have three things currently, which is not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So happy there's no construction today. I picked this neighborhood to make it accessible, whatever. I think I mentioned that in last week's pod. But even now I'm kind of like claustrophobic with the new high rises going up, even though I want to live in the one across the street. Let's put that out in the universe. Hmm. This is a sign of the times, your girl's getting old. If I could drive, I would definitely live in the suburbs, like out of Toronto. Cause I wanna have like the space to roam and do my own thing and not feel like my neighbors could clearly see me talking to you because that's how close the next building is. But other than that, you know, I don't mind city life. I am still a city girl. I love being able to hop on the subway and go where I need to go. Being visually impaired, I can't just hop in the whip and get somewhere. So I'm very grateful. And maybe in another life, I'll live on a farm or something. <laughs> with this huge meal for lunch. Coconut water and some strawberries for dessert if I make it to dessert. Cane spicy fries are the only way to go. One weird thing you gotta know about me is I don't eat sauces. No ketchup on my burgers. this hard in such a long time but whatever that was was not a workout it was war but I made up for not doing as much as I should in the gym today okay so we got a lot of work to do So weird to think these places would be so packed at this time with all the people bustling about during their lunch break. But Good morning loves, I'm just cutting through the bay to get to the rink. I don't know if I'm gonna film skating today because I'm going with my uncle. We haven't been in years, I'm so happy to go. This reminds me of when I was a kid. Anyway, let me not go down memory lane. Like 20 years younger and be like Denzel Washington or something? Yeah. No. He's another one that never ages. No, 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 no. Denzel's got no. Skating was fun, of course. <laughs> I was so out of it, I only put on one sock. And then I was skating, I'm like, why is one foot colder than the other? Girl, you only put on one sock. Anywho, let me show you just so you can get an idea of the vibe I'm going for with this photo shoot. They put everything in three different packages. I was not going on the subway with three boxes. So I said, you know what? Are you seeing? Can you visualize the vibes? I don't even know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. I can see a lot of potential with this dress. It's kind of giving me old school nurse vibes. I don't know why, but we'll see when it's on. You saw last week's vlog, you saw me eyeing this. But after I perused, again with that word, after I was browsing the website, I was like, there's nothing else that I really like. 
Thanks again, Mom, for the gift card, because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten this. But again, who knows what I will actually keep and what I will pair for the photo shoot. I still haven't gotten a confirmation. It's supposed to be Saturday at 4, but he said I'll let you know. And I want to see Batman on Saturday too, so... And that's with a different friend, so I kind of need to know, because I need to coordinate with him too, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll have the fried rice I made yesterday or the soup, because I need to finish that soup. But whatever it is, I'm going to eat and I'll check in with you guys later. I'm in the gym solo dolo again. I love it. Feels like a VIP gym. Anywho, at least this time my sesh will not be interrupted as there's no water shut off. So I can stay here as long as I need to get what I need to get done. But what sucks is when I'm done, I was hoping to take at least a few practice shots for the photo shoot tomorrow, which, by the way, flopped. <laughs> And then it also is snowing today. So, so much for a spring vibe. I checked the forecast. It's snowing Saturday and Sunday. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll look for some places in the lobby, in the laundry room to take photos. <laughs> wow, my five head is glowing. This right here is the rashiness that is trying to take a solo picture. Afternoon loves, would you believe me if I told you it took two hours just to take two outfit photos? It was angled, it was a lighting, it was a location, it was finding the shoes in that closet, and you know about that closet. It was fighting with masking tape because I don't own boob tape, because I ain't got boobs, but I still had enough to cover up. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Yeah. Okay. So, clean up a little bit, check in with you guys in a bit. Look at all the snow. Oh my gosh, where did spring go? I love the store. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> OMG, not me leaving my house without my wallet. How was I expecting to get on the subway without my Presto? Well, maybe it wasn't meant to be because that snow out there, you saw, it was getting a little more aggressive. Oh, she gave me a coupon. I feel like I made a new friend at the juice spot. I used to go there all the time when I worked in the neighborhood. I asked her for a bottle and she gave me one. So now I can put my oat milk in there. We had such a good conversation. I love meeting new people in the neighborhood. Anywho, so much for my nails. I really wanted to get my nails done. I was looking at them yesterday like, wow, you really held out and this color is so pretty. It's such a nice neutral. I feel like I could push it to three weeks. Tomorrow would be two weeks to the day that I got it done. <clears throat> Not me losing my voice. Tell me why. This morning, my hair caught on this part and I'm like, not the whole nail polish coming off. Then this part, when I was putting on leggings, you know, when it snags right there, if you know, you know. And then this one, the same thing. So I wanted to go downtown figuring that no one's gonna get their nails done on a snowy Friday night. But then when I realized that I didn't bring my Metro card, I was like, no, just no. I'm not going back out in that. I was like snow in my face, trying to keep my hair dry. Even the girl at the juicery spot was like, oh my gosh, your hair is so straight. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to protect it. She's like, I know how that goes. So I said, let me not play with it because I still need to <sighs> make the most out of the straight hair before we go back to curly and I'm not letting the elements rush me out of the situation. Bananas, as per usual, if you're a regular on this channel, every time I go to the grocery store, fresh batch of bananas. But this is different. Have I talked to you guys about this before? Dun, da, da, da. Is a ginger shot. And whenever the weather fluctuates like this, where it's 15 degrees one day, minus one with blizzard another day, get you one. Now, I never said it tasted good, okay? I can't remember if it's this one or the immunity one that tastes worse. I haven't had this in over a year because I used to buy a lot of ginger shots from Greenhouse Juicery, and this is Village Juicery. It's really cool talking with the girl that works there because she's 
doing holistic nutrition. So I was like, oh, how do you like it? Sometimes I wish I did holistic nutrition instead of clinical nutrition. So we're just going back and forth about that. <sighs> Loves, whatever workout that was kicked my butt. First of all, I have the weirdest dream about being discriminated for being blind. You can tell what's on my mind. And then I had originally woken up at seven. I'm like, nah, that's too early for Saturday. Tell me why the second time I woke up was way after my alarm at 9.51. So I'm two hours behind schedule right now. Technically, I was always supposed to be at the nail salon to get my three nails fixed, but I'm late. I'm late. I'm very, very late, but it's always a matcha moment. So I had to take out 10 minutes before I go. It's already 11 o'clock. In my head, when I planned out today, I would already be home recording at this time. Oh, yo, yo, and this place is an hour away too. Mm, cherry blossom matcha though, the best. If you're black, you know how harrowing wash day is. I'm a little confused that my hair is stringy already. When my old hairstylist, who did my hair for a decade, would go from curly to straight, it would last for at least two weeks. And I know to some people who aren't ethnic i hate that word but who don't have naturally curly hair are black they might think that's gross like uh but as long as you wrap your hair at night you don't smoke you don't sweat in your head you're not in a very polluted city your hair can stay clean for weeks and actually washing it every day when you have naturally porous curly hair makes it break and dry trust me there was a stint in time in high school and i thought i was a white girl and i try to wash my hair every day and flat iron it I was looking like Angelica's doll, okay? So my sweet spot for my hair care is every other week, but still, even when I have it curly, I wet it too much because I'm trying to refresh the curls. I'd love to hear from you if you're a naturally curly haired or natural hair, even permed and relaxed hair, I'd love to know too. I just think it's so funny. Sometimes when people are like, oh my God, my hair, my hair, my hair, and then they're like, I installed it. I think that's, I guess it's your hair because you bought it. I'm not gonna say anything, I don't judge, but Hair care for what comes out of your hair is always gonna be different than what you put on your head, if you know what I'm saying. I can't relate to your hair care experience if you bought your hair and you can also discard it when you're over it. When you have a head of hair that you have to care for and when you don't, it gets brittle and it breaks and thin and frail, it's a little different story. did such a good job. I love this color. It came out a little more bluey pink than I thought it would be. Not with the snow though. just check to see how long they'll take you to get home from the cafe. I said 45 minutes. I was like, okay, that's not bad. Could be worse. Tell me why I got home two hours later. You saw all that. So the subway was shut off. That was normal. But it was also cut off. I don't know what was going on. I love that I have less than three hours to get everything I need to get done before I head out again to go back to that. Maybe today wasn't the best day to go to a movie, but tomorrow the subway's gonna be shut off too, so it'll be the same difference. Your grocery store! There was one in the neighborhood, so I was like, why not? It's funny, there was a bus going north to a different subway station than the one I ended up going, and I'm like, something in my soul told me to take that one. But I ended up taking the streetcar back, got to College Station, 
There was an emergency, they evacuated. I walked to Bay Street. If you're not from Toronto, you probably don't understand any of what I'm saying. But just know I went to another bus stop, waited 12 minutes for a bus to come to basically do a box back to a connecting subway station, to connect back to that shuttle bus, to connect back, to come home. So here I am, <laughs> cold AF. I was looking at my nails because I had so much extra time. And I'm like, she did such a good job. You know what I think happened? I don't know if she picked the wrong color because there was three pinks, but I narrowed it down to two and I pointed at one, but I think she picked the other one. But also because she did so many coats, maybe it came up, no. Because that one was like a white pink. So no matter how many layers you would have done, mm, it's still pretty though, but it's giving more spring than outside is. And I wasn't really ready for that, but whatever as long as it lasts me at least two weeks this time around <laughs> please be recording i swear the eating center is the prettiest when it's empty <laughs> you're special Guys, would you believe it's 120? That movie was long, long. Like, I was warned that it was long. <laughs> it was next level long. Here goes my friend at the end of the movie. I'm like, what did you think? Or I don't really think I asked that question. I think what happened was we were waiting until the end credits because apparently there was like, it doesn't matter. You know how Marvel DC do. Point I'm trying to make is when we left, he's like, I thought the movie was done when they got the guy. I thought the same thing too. <laughs> he said it was another 30 minutes after that. To be honest, guys, at one point I fell asleep. You know, when I don't play with my bedtime and that movie went past my bedtime. <laughs> oh, it wasn't bad though. I was hearing some people say it was really bad. It wasn't bad. It was just a different take. I feel like how many times can you spin the same story? But it wasn't bad. I would still say go watch it. Maybe just not so late. It was weird being in a packed movie theater since I haven't seen a movie in three years. I could still kind of tell what was going on. Like I couldn't read any of the notes or catch the clues, which is kind of a good thing because usually I'm the type of person, don't know about you, but when I could see better, when I could see well, when I could see perfectly, I usually figured out what was going on in the suspense, thriller, plot twist, whatever, because I would watch the clues so intently. But there was actually some kind of <gasps> at the, not end, but the end that we thought was the end before the half an hour real end. <laughs> I'm rambling, which is my cue to let you guys go until tomorrow, aka next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. If you did, let me know down below. Don't forget to hit the like button to let the algorithm know you want this. I was gonna say pod, cause that's usually my pod outro. To let this algorithm know you want these videos to grow. So until, I already said that. Until, what is, what is my outro? Stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed, sleep well. Love you later. Mm. How it was long though.